Hey, what's going on, guys? Yet another amazing episode of Akami Got Kill. But out of all the fights, all the demons' powers, and Akami going in, fucking Lubbock stole the show from me. Of all people, can you believe it? I mean, Akami was awesome too, but we see her go in all the time. And we have never really seen Lubbock take flight like he did in this episode. I mean, when he was playing dead and uh, was about to let that girl die, I was about to lose all respect for him. If she had gotten killed and he laid there like a coward, he would have been my least favorite Night Raid member. But it's awesome to see that he got up and took out two of those Rock Rakshasa demons. I forgot the name. I mean, they were introduced at the beginning of this episode to be these awesome badasses. I mean, they are technically because they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with an Imperial Arms user, without any imperial arms so that's always you know that's very impressive but three of them got taken out in one episode and lubbock took out two of them by himself man i totally underestimated this guy but this guy has the worst luck in women every woman that he's interested in either doesn't want to have anything to do with him or is evil and that's just hilarious i especially like the part when lubbock wrapped his uh, string around that dude's heart and squeezed it and it burst that really reminds me of Stas from Bloodland. I miss that fucking show, yo. Now, I am very mixed on how I feel about Karome. I hate her at the same time, but then again, I love her. <laughs> it's just so confusing because seeing her get up out the bed and put on an act that she is still healthy and as soon as Ed's death walked away, she fell into a wave's arms and just said that if I die, I want to die fighting. I was not born in this world to be disposed of like that. So that kind of got my respect. And she cares about her comrades just like anyone in Night Raid cares about their comrades. So it's really kind of hard to hate someone like that because they're really in the same business and there's really no heartless character that I can think of so far. The only person I can straight up say that I hate it's sir you because, I mean, even though she's doing what she thinks is right, you should not think, I mean, just going back on the episode that happened a few weeks ago when she saw those bandits and that woman said that they forced her to do it. She may have been telling the truth. She may not have been. But who is she to pass judgment on someone like that? And she killed the ain't. She's just so fucked up in the mind. And just the fact that she's feeding, she fed Koro Chelsea's body. That really pissed me off. And that's the reason I kind of fangirl at the preview to next episode because we see mine confronting uh, Suryu and that is going to be awesome. I cannot wait to see what mine has to say to her and I hope she kills her, man. I hope this is the end of Suryu next episode. She has to get revenge for Shele. And throughout this episode, I got kind of a Tatsumi and mine vibe. Like they're going to end up together. You know, just the ice cream scene, but it was really nothing big. But at the end, this guy says he sees the red string of fate connecting those two. And just seeing them fighting, like right after he said that, like, no way, ill, that's disgusting. That really reminds me of Simba and Nala from Lion King. Because that's how they were when they were younger. But they, you know, eventually got together and had a baby and everything. So, Tatsumi and mine are going to end up fucking... I highly believe it. Unless mine dies, that's who he's going to end up with. That's just the vibe I got from this episode. Although, I would rather him end up with Akami or uh, Leone. I mean, hey, what can you do? I mean, mine's awesome too. Not the end, that asshole priest guy. He says that he was in the middle of an important ritual. He was in the middle of a fucking blowjob. That's why I'm going to call blowjobs from now on. I'm going to be like, hey girl, you want me to purify your body with my special ritual? So we have one more of those four demons. And like I said, it was just such a shock that three of them got taken out in one episode. And two of them by Lubbock by himself, which is fucking amazing. I cannot get over that. So will we get... The next one, or well, the last one in the next episode, but it seems to be more about Tatsumi, Mine, and Suryu. And I swear, I hope Mine fucks her up. Tell me what you guys thought about this episode. This has been JB Dutch. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.